How much attention is paid to the Eurovision Song Contest where you are? Have you ever uh, set eyes on this spectacle? Uh, I have it. I've, I've watched a few clips here and there, but my guess would be most people here are not very uh, plugged in. But I don't want to speak for everyone. That's just the people <laughs> that it, it, I know. Uh, but it, I'm definitely open to it. I think I'd, yeah. You're open to it. Okay. How about you, Vladislav Davidson? Uh, well, I live, I live in Europe, but I, I have a reputation as a, as a uh, snob to... <laughs> to keep up so like i won't admit to watching it but of course i have and i always cheer for my team which is the ukrainians but this year the the moldovans uh, who are of course also in the middle of uh, problems with russia and russia's trying to get coup d'etats going in moldova so i cheer for them also because you know i'm also from odessa and they're 70 does, kilometers away does any of this have to do with music i know i don't care about any of it i only care about like the, to the extent that i care about like a football team or preparation for other kinds of preparation for war but the the clip of the moldovans uh with their pagan ensembles i like the pagan aspect of the moldovan uh team this year but again i use the word team admittedly i couldn't care less about the music only about the politics and the war whereas uh the uh, the uh, uh clark household will be uh fully embedded for for the for, for all of saturday night correct Uh, Saturday night, yes. Uh, Sunday night will be at Union saint gilles to cheer on a different uh, uh, yellow and uh, go, uh, yellow and blue team uh, in this in this weekend's uh, Belgian Premier League playoffs. But uh, this idea that uh, it's a song contest and not uh, and not political, uh, yes, sure. Uh, Cyprus always thinks that Greece has the best song. Greece always thinks that Cyprus has the best song. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh. pure. <laughs> purely, purely because uh, you know the, the shared disco culture. Uh, Vivian Wall. And I'll also be chilling on Moldova because I'll be in Chisinau at the end of the month for the European Political Community Summit, and I'd like them to be in party mood when I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> Vivian Walt, uh, your thoughts on the fact that you know, because last year there was a sort of unease; they kicked out Russia from the from, they the, did, from yeah. the Eurovision Song Contest. <clears throat> Good. Uh, is it? Is it? Yes, and some made the argument, just like they do when uh, Wimbledon comes around, that uh, you shouldn't uh, penalize athletes or musicians. Uh, yes, and by the way, this is also about money, as as everything is. But, uh, you know, this is also about uh, participants paying millions of, of euros to We're talking to, to, high to, to art here, not money. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> I mean, I think the Eurovision Song Contest should go global. I think every country in the world should create some happy, dancey song and, you know, have a blowout party. I think the world needs it. <laughs> uh, Noor Ibrahim, by the way, uh, it's even made, it's seeped its way, you could say, onto the campaign trail in Turkey. Uh, Kemal Kilic Dorolu has says he'll bring Turkey back into the Eurovision Song Contest. Recep Tayyip Erdogan felt it was not of a high moral standing. Yeah, I mean, I think that, I think everyone deserves a shot. I think, the you know, all of Turkey maybe shouldn't be uh, punished from this great pleasure that is uh, Eurovision for one person who might not be around for too much long after. <laughs> Um, so I get that. <laughs>